We've had a little rain here in Southern California and we have a nice bounty to show for it. We have guavas, coyote squash, avocados, oranges, grapefruit, and three tomatoes. So today, I'm not going to use most of these, I was just sharing, but I'm going to use some oranges and the guavas to make some tropical ice cream in the Cuisinart Soft Serve Ice Cream Maker. Now we have this ice cream maker from a Father's Day gift and I'm just getting around to actually reviewing it. From the book you can tell it's very well used. This model is called the Mix It In Soft Serve Ice Cream Maker ICE45. Now I don't know if this model is still available. I'll check it before I go on and put this up. But um, regardless, I'm sure that the um, recipe works for most soft serve. So this is the tropical fruit ice cream recipe. Now I'm adjusting it a bit. It calls for orange or tangerine. We'll use that. Mango puree, we won't. Papaya, no. Granulated sugar, yes. Fresh lemon juice, uh, maybe we'll use more orange. And pure vanilla extract, whole milk, heavy cream. So that's what we're going to do. Instead of mango, mango and papaya, we'll either use extra orange or the guava. So this is how I'm doing the orange. I'm basically peeling the outside out and sectioning it. And I'm going to keep the pulp because I like the I like the pulp. Okay, so here we have the orange juice, and I've squeezed a little bit of extra to make it up to one and a third. Glad we have a lot of pulp because that'll help to keep the firmness. And on this one, I've just peeled some of the guavas. I have one more to peel, and um, I've cut this one open so you can see the seeds. Now the the problem is going to be getting the seeds out. Um, and keeping all of the pulp because um, there's a fair amount of pulp that's actually in, mixed in with the seeds. So we'll work that out. Here we have the guavas that are peeled, the seeds. I've got an idea on what I want to do to try to get some of the flavor of the guava off of that. And then we have the orange. And I use this um, blend. It's kind of like the Magic Bullet, but it's not. Um, and it's great. And I know trying to do a whole quart of ice cream uh, in two little cups and flipping back and forth. It's probably not the most efficient, but we're at home. And uh, so what I'm going to do with this is add some orange juice to it and blend it up and then try to see if I can strain it through this cap. And because I'm kind of thinking that this won't make quite the amount of guava that we need, but if it does, then I won't worry about that. So here it is all blended up and it's just over two-thirds cup and so I think that's pretty good and if we get a cup and a third of the orange juice as long as we make the fruit pulp up to uh, two cups then I'm not too worried about reclaiming what's, the, what's uh, around the seeds. Okay we're adding two-thirds cup granulated sugar and I'm just adding a little bit to each of the cups and then I'll add the milk and the whipping cream a little bit to each of the cups and I'll stir them back and forth because we're just trying to get um, everything sort of blended together and it'll get mixed up in the ice cream maker. So I've put the sugar a little bit in there and a little bit in there. Poured two-thirds cups of milk and we're going to use the whole milk as suggested. I've tried substituting uh, skim milk or um, non-fat milk before and that doesn't work. Then after that we're going to add two-thirds cup heavy cream and some vanilla. Okay, so we've put the milk in, and now we've got two-thirds cup. I use whipping cream. Now, I don't know if exactly that's heavy cream, but that's what I'm going to use. And then for vanilla, we have Mateo's Vanilla Extract, which was handmade vanilla done by um, one of our nephews. Now we're going to add a half teaspoon of vanilla. Zip it. A little bit to each. And we're going to blend each of those and then we'll start making ice cream. Okay, now we're ready to get started. So I've taken the bowl out of the freezer. Now this is the main part of the Cuisinart ice cream maker. This bowl has a liquid inside 
that um, freezes, um, you put it in the freezer for eight hours, I think it's eight hours, and then it's ready to go when you're ready to have your ice cream. Now what that means is you can only make um, a, a quart of ice cream at the same at any one time and you know unless you have another bowl which most people don't you're not going to make another quart until the bowl refreezes and pretty much what you do is you uh, once you're done you wash everything out and you put the bowl back into the freezer but here we go so we'll take this and we'll stick it into oh, first I have to get the bead right there and we'll stick it into the bottom now at the bottom there there's the um, this is what dispenses the ice cream so you want to make sure that's closed because otherwise you will be pouring stuff right out into the bottom and you don't want that okay let it settle in great now we have this is the top this is the beater for the top stick that in, click, and it goes in this way, and we snap that in, click, great, perfect, and then now we will turn it on, so we have the on switch, now this has dispensers for um, mix-ins, but you know, we don't use them often enough to keep those filled, we tried it at the beginning, and to be honest, it really doesn't isn't something that we really need because the ice cream is just good enough for us. So there we go, we're pouring it all in. Nice. And pouring the orange mix in. Nice. And it comes up almost to the top. It's about an inch and a little bit from the top. And what happens now is we wait for 20 minutes and we're ready to go. We'll check it in a bit to see. And um, one thing I want to mention, this is a soft serve ice cream maker. It is intended to come out soft, but sometimes you want to make ice cream and you don't really want it soft. What I suggest you do in those cases is possibly try um, uh, freezing some of the pulp in advance, which I've done that and that actually really, really, really worked. Um, of course, I was making a different kind of ice cream at the time, and I haven't done it here, but I'm not anticipating it'll be too bad because I have um, some very pulpy orange, but let's see. Looking pretty good there. And so we have these um, coconut shells. whether to put it into the freezer for a little bit or not. I don't think 